We've seen numerous modern devices being powered by batteries. The increasingly digitized world we live in majorly depends on battery power to function, for instance, electric vehicles, cell phones, computers, and many more devices. In order to meet humanity's growing demand for batteries in a way that is appropriate according to the technologically advanced world we're living in, scientists are working quickly to develop a nuclear diamond battery. Hello everyone, and welcome to Modern Day Geeks. Today, we're going to talk about the amazing nuclear diamond battery, how it was formed, and what it's used for. Stay tuned! We all know that due to their short lifespan, conventional batteries cannot be used or have serious downsides in circumstances where charging or replacing them is not an option. For instance, low-power electrical equipment like pacemakers, satellites, high-altitude drones, and even spacecraft require an energy source to last a long time. So to address this concern, scientists have discovered a way to utilize nuclear waste to produce electricity in a nuclear-powered battery. Sounds like an amazing advancement, right? Let's see how it all started. Well, an artificial diamond that can produce a little electrical current when exposed to radiation was produced by a team of physicists and chemists at the University of Bristol back in November 2017. The man-made diamond may generate a charge by being placed in close proximity to a radioactive source. According to Professor Tom Scott, a Cabot Institute member, the diamond batteries do not involve moving parts and emissions during the process and come without the need for maintenance. All it does is generate direct electricity. Scientists have transformed a long-term issue of nuclear waste into a nuclear-powered battery and a long-term source of clean energy by carefully encapsulating radioactive particles inside diamonds. Well, on the other hand, a typical beta voltaic cell consists of radioactive material sandwiched between thin layers of semiconductors. An electric current is produced when the nuclear material's beta particles, which are generated during its disintegration, knock electrons loose in the semiconductor. However, as the radioactive source is moved further away from the semiconductor, its power density falls. Nuclear batteries are hence far less efficient than traditional batteries that we often use. By using carbon-14, which is a radioactive form of carbon that is produced in the graphite blocks used to control the reaction in nuclear power reactors, the efficiency might be increased significantly. According to the researchers from Bristol, the radioactive carbon-14 is concentrated at the surface of these blocks, which makes it easy to remove the majority of the radioactive material. A diamond is then integrated with the recovered carbon-14 to create a nuclear-powered battery. Seems like a lot of science is in there. Probably implementing it will be a little easier than understanding it. Have you heard about the chemical vapor deposition process? Well, a nuclear diamond battery is made using chemical vapor deposition. It is a process that is often used to make synthetic diamonds. Researchers have modified the process to produce a radioactive diamond by using radioactive methane containing the radioactive element carbon-14, which is present on irradiated reactor graphite blocks. These diamonds have the ability to behave as radioactive sources and semiconductors. Let's now see how these diamond batteries are helpful to us. Well, first of all, the radioactivity of the nearly 95,000 tons of graphite blocks that the UK now has decreased as carbon-14 is extracted from them, which lowers the expense and difficulty of safely storing this nuclear waste. Secondly, carbon-14 was chosen as a source material because it emits short-range radiation that is swiftly absorbed by any solid substance, according to Dr. Neil Fox from the School of Chemistry. As a result, it would be harmful to consume or contact bare skin, yet short-range radiation is safely contained within the diamond. Thirdly, the amazing life of these diamond batteries could revolutionize the power of gadgets over extended periods of time, despite their low power in comparison to current battery technologies. One battery, containing 1 G of carbon-14, would produce 15 joules per day. The precise amount of carbon-14 in each battery has still to be determined. The battery would need 5,730 years to reach 50% power using carbon-14, or nearly as long as human civilization has been in existence. 
An amazing fact is that the nuclear diamond battery is said to be capable of lasting up to 28,000 years and uses nuclear waste as its primary power source and diamonds as its heat conducting material. Aside from consumer gadgets, batteries have the potential to revolutionize a significant portion of the current economy. They're beneficial for things like spaceships, satellites, high-altitude drones, and medical devices because they essentially last forever. Such devices need batteries with a long lifespan in order to function because replacing them would be expensive and difficult. And when exposed to beta radiation, you'll get a long-lasting battery that doesn't need to be recharged. Due to the radioactive waste that fills its inside, it can recharge itself for eons with little to no detectable degradation over hundreds of years. With these batteries being formed, what about their commercialization? Yes, as you were wondering about this, we have also been thinking the same. So while looking into the nuclear diamond batteries, we did find out that a new company known as Arkenlight has been created especially to commercialize these batteries. In the latter half of 2023, the company intends to introduce its first product, a micro battery for pacemakers and sensors to the market. So that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. We're the Modern Day Geeks and see you soon in our next video.